Scientists at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History have been amassing a collection of the world's plant species since 1848, but they still haven't captured all the diversity of plant life, and they're hoping smartphones and an app called LeafSnap can help close the gap. Research botanist John Cress was among a group of researchers who created the app, a tool originally designed for scientists. I take a picture of the leaf, and now what it's doing, it's calculating the shape of the leaf with this algorithm that the computer scientists at Columbia University and the University of Maryland figured out. And that was the tough part of this. How do we actually turn a photograph of a leaf into something, into a number, really, that, that we can compare to all these other leaf shapes we have in the library? But algorithms don't mean much to people in their yards or in parks or natural areas. They simply want to point and click their way to an answer as to what type of leaf is this or this. And that's what makes LeafSnap so useful. By uploading GPS tagged photos through the app, scientists are cataloging the local plant life and monitoring the growth and decline of tree populations nationwide. The plan is to first expand this to include all the trees of the northeast U.S. and we're doing that right now. We have people out taking images of leaves as we speak. So you'll be able to identify a leaf from Maine down to Virginia over to the Mississippi River. So how does it work? What we're doing is using the shape of the leaf and the margins of the leaf, whether it's, if it's a margin like an oak that's very pointy or a maple that has these kind of relatively broad lobes, it uses that shape to identify the plant. And the shape technology software in the phone could be useful to identify other forms of life as well. Smithsonian scientists are looking at the possibilities of using it to identify butterflies, bugs, and other critters. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.